Yes, yes, yes. That was some of the nepotism at work on the other. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, <coughs> tremendous memories, sir. And one thing I do want to say, which is a slightly sad moment, but in your presence, I want to record this: that two of our founding board members uh, passed away in these last two years. One was Sri Yogi Deveshwar of ITC, who was on that trip. Yeah. At your home, and the other was Mr. Rahul Bajaj, yeah. uh, and uh, it's uh, they made they were big fans of you, yeah. and they would always uh, and, and of course ITC has built a big presence here. Yeah. What do you see, sir, as the future of the uh, the state of uh, Andhra Pradesh, which you are so involved in, and uh, you have always talked about. Telangana being a role model for the rest of India, I know that you have started doing some work on also making Andhra a role model for the rest of India. How are you thinking about that? No, all uh, sometimes some changes will come. After bifurcation, I prepared a vision for 2029. Hmm. Telangana is having Hyderabad is having some advantages. One is climate advantage. And also at that time, abundant land in Hyderabad. Andhra is having some more advantages. One is sea coast. On east coast, best ports are available in Andhra Pradesh. Second advantage, water, flat land. We can give every one acre irrigation. That is possible. Third one, Andhra people, because of Telangana and Andhra Telugu people, I promoted them. Even Andhra people also very, very enterprising. Either Hyderabad or America, everywhere they are doing extremely well. And also I want to construct improved version of Hyderabad, that is Amravati. Because in new city, we can do better. Here, it is only expansion or extension. So all these things we have planned. First time in public policy, this is one issue where corporate governance or public governance leaders make all the difference. Always. I strongly believe that. Either governance or public policies. 25 years back on public policy, I want to promote IT. Today, everywhere, Indians are there in IT. Even I was responsible at that time for bringing reforms in telecommunication sector. Nobody used to understand at that time. There was BSNL international calls, BSNL domestic calls, public limited companies. Lightning call, if you book, it will come after seven days or eight days. <laughs> Other countries are moving very fast about uh, smart cell, cell phones, wireless, everything, bandwidth, all these things. That is where I fought with uh, then uh, the Prime Minister, convinced him, Vajpayee ji. I was the task force co-chairperson. We have given report on the basis of that deregulation has come. Because of that, every person, if you see, even villages, they are using smartphones and recording everything and using cell phones. What I'm saying here, all these things we have planned in Andhra Pradesh. Today, we are having a problem. Amravati is uh, development has stopped. I don't want to go much politics here. It is a business school. But at the same time, business school leaders has to understand how things are happening with the public policies and governance, public governance. If you give good company, I am seeing this also, I am analyzing. If you see one generation will start industry, sometimes same generation will spoil also. You have seen some of the case studies. Yes. One generation will start industry. Second generation will spoil totally. That is second. 
first generation, third, second generation, third generation transi transition in uh, private businesses. It is very rare, only some companies. So the same thing in government I have seen. Because of good governance, 20 times uh, GSTP growth. In some governments, if you see seven times, five times, seven times. We are all one country, India. Same country, so much of variation of governance and public policies. Even companies, startup companies you are seeing, one startup company will do wonders. It is only an idea how to execute. It all depends upon leadership. To st as on today, we are having some problem of the state. One simple question I'm telling you, after bifurcation, very difficult stage. I concentrate focus very much, 10.8% growth rate, first of its kind in India, after independence, five years, 10.8% growth is unique, nowhere it has been done in India. That is how we have done. Now, same growth rate has come to 3.5 or 3.2 percent. You can see the difference. These are all the things, but we are committed. We have to rebuild. We have to contribute. Not only giving vision for the nation or promoting, inspiring people. We have to contribute that state also. We will work in that direction. You are also participated at that time. Is a chairperson for bringing knowledge education policy. No, sir, that was uh, the most amazing thing that uh, sir did is that not only did he invite me to chair the higher education committee, but the three, four of us who were in that committee, there was not a single person from the bureaucracy and there was no politician or minister to select the universities that would be given the license to operate in uh, Andhra Pradesh. This is unheard of. And uh, sir, when in the, in the center, uh, there was this new program, the center started, Institution of Eminence. Yes. So they said, how are these, uh, how should we select? I said, there's an example yeah. in Andhra Pradesh. And they said, but how can we do this? I said, but it was done. There's a precedent of that. And so when they set up the selection committee yeah. for this, I used this example, sir, yeah. where there was not, for the institutions of eminence program of the government of India, they actually did not put a senior officer yeah. or any politician. It was a completely independent committee. Yeah. And that lesson is from what you did, uh, which I think was unprecedented. Most people would not trust people from the private sector to make such uh, unbiased choices, yeah. some vested interest yeah. and so on. And there are a lot of people who objected. Yeah. Of course, there was a great uh, IS officer who worked with us, Sumita yeah. Daura, but... Uh, but ultimately, you are able to bring uh, best uh, universities. If so you when you uh, do SRM these things... When, yes, sir, sorry. SRM SL or Vint Kriya, or Kriya. SLRI yeah. or Amrut, all these things. Yes, Amrita University. Yes, Amrita sir. University, all these things have come. Some more universities on the way. We want to make Andhra Pradesh is a knowledge hub. Hyderabad also, one is ISB. If you can go to Triple IT, Nalsar, Urdu University, all these things we have brought at that time. No, the contribution you have made to education, I think, has been seminal. Yeah. 